Uh, hello, hope you're doing great. My name is Shazad Ali Hassan, and this is the homework assignment for finding the z of x and y, uh, z of y for the Lorentz equations for which the initial conditions are x uh, equals 1, y equals 0, and z equals 20. Um, let me walk you through the code. Uh, so th the first one is uh, using the Euler method. Uh, this uh, function, this one is just calculating the derivative for x, y, and z and returning the value of uh, derivation of x, y, and z. Uh, this function takes the initial values of x, y, z, and the sigma rho and beta. I have defined all of the variables here. So the step that uh, the difference of step is 0 0.01. Uh, the number of steps is uh, 10,000 iterations. Uh, x, y, z are initially an empty array that just go to one additional index to 10,000. Uh, we are not using time anymore. Uh, this uh, these are the initial conditions that were pro provided in the question. Uh, this is the Euler forward method uh, in which the next value of the function depends on the initial value plus the differential into the uh, time difference, uh, which is 0 0.01. And this gives us the values of x, y, and z. Both x, y, and z, uh, x, y, and z are uh, matrices, and these are row matrices of 1001 height. Uh, and this simply plots uh, the graph. Uh, let me run the code. Alright, so so this one is z plotted uh, with respect to x, and this one is z plotted with respect to y. Uh, I have also. Uh, written the code to plot the 3D graph and just run this one to just see the 3D image of uh, the same equation using the Euler method. Uh, this is not uh, the part of the code but I have just written it there so if you want to see you can have a look at that. Right. And now let's move to the other one which is uh, the same code but using the predictor corrector method. So uh, what I did here. Uh, so for the predictor uh, method, we were going from, uh, instead of directly calculating the i plus one, we have to calculate i plus one and a half. So that means we are going to find the middle point, but these are the array. And I tried using one point half, but it was giving me an error that indexes cannot be one plus half. So instead of going for x uh, i plus two, uh, which would have caused me another error and I would have to increase the number of arrays here. I just read it in the value of uh, the all the conditions for x plus 1 here. Uh, so what this one is doing, uh, this is just calculating the values of the midpoints of x, y, and z. And then this one is uh, finally calculating the values of uh, uh, x plus 1, y plus 1, and z plus 1. These here, this line, this is calculating the derivatives of uh, these uh, values that we have here and this one is simply plotting the graph again. Let me run this for you Right, so this is uh, pretty much the same one, but I think that the Euler one is a little more accurate I have one more file if I believe uh, I will make sure to link that so uh, in that one, I have just made sure that both of the codes are in one file and we don't have to open two separate files for the same thing. Uh, I will make sure to link both of the blog posts there. You can find it. Uh, the code is on the GitHub repo for the same one. And the other one is also on the website. Uh, if you will go to the GitHub repo, uh, you can switch to the branch uh, for homework one, the SOR, SOR code, and homework two for the Euler method or the other one. So uh, in second branch, I think I have all the three files. For Euler method, uh, this one contains both the files, the predictor method and the Euler ones. Let me just show you. And this is pretty much the same code, but for uh, uh, Euler, I have used x, y, and z. And for, for the predictor method, I have used a px, a pcx, pc for uh, predictor. Okay. So yeah, thank you so much.